शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ फिफ्टीन ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रेन गिव दी फादर न्यूज ऑफ योर स्टेज विद एन ओपन हार्ट रिमेम्बरेंस ऑफ दी फादर कैन ओनली स्टे इन अ ट्रू एंड ओपन हार्ट क्वेश्चन ऑल दो ऑल Young and old are at this time in their stage of retirement. What words can you not say? Answer, Baba. Now hurry up. Let's go home. There is a lot of sorrow here. Baba says, "You children cannot say this because you are now sitting personally in front of God. You have now received the lap of coolness." At this time you have become the highest on high in the golden age your degrees will be reduced you will become deity children not god's children this is why you cannot say hurry up song the heart desires to call out to you om shanti you sweetest children who call out now no Devotees call out to God you are no longer devotees you are children children remember him and also write baba we wish to listen to you directly in person you continue to invite him saying baba i want to listen to you personally it is difficult to listen to baba directly apart through the mouth of brahma You children know that the Baba has come exactly as he did in the previous cycle. The name mouth born creation of Brahma, decoration of the Brahmin clan that has been given is such a good name. There are many Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. They have been given knowledge. The supreme father, the supreme soul who is the ocean of knowledge. is also called the ocean of happiness it is also sang remover of sorrow and bestower of happiness only say baba is that so many different names have been given to him there is a lot of praise of him people sing har har that is remover of sorrow remove our sorrow they sing this to god However because of not knowing god they say to brahma vishnu and shankar dev dev mahadev they have forgotten shiva and say it to shankar har har mahadev neither brahma nor vishnu would be called mahadev both of them have physical parts shankar only resides in the subtle region only incorporeal god is the purifier who removes our sorrow shankar would not be called the purifier All the praise is of the one. The two forms of Vishnu are Lakshmi and Narayan or Radhe and Krishna and they have their separate births. The incarnation of Vishnu is also remembered. They saw the four armed images. However, they don't know that Lakshmi and Narayan first become princess Radhe and prince Krishna in heaven. Only you know this. You also know that there are very strong storms of Maya in a subtle way. Maya makes you forget. She brings many storms. If you children continue to ask about anything with an open heart, you can receive the answer to the question. There are many types of storm, dreams, bad thoughts, many type of storm. A hurricane is called a storm. This Brahma is well known and now that Baba has entered him he has become very well known As is the country of human being so is their dress Nowadays there are cripples hunchbacks and blind people There there is natural beauty because even the five elements are satu pradhan Therefore you daughters call out to him so that you can listen to this knowledge personally Some of the things in the songs are correct. The deity religion has disappeared, but temples exist as memorials. Similarly, there are memorials to those of all religions. 
only you children understand that only the one incorporeal god is truly called the highest on high there is his praise alone and this is the confluence is when souls meet the supreme soul there are many souls expansion will continue to take place you children are now listening to the father in person and others do desire to listen to him in person they cannot come here they are in bondage no one is forbidden to go to other spiritual gatherings anyone of any religion can go where the sita where the gita is related in bombay there are no fees people go to different gurus in the hope of finding an easy path with someone no one knows about the path to liberation or liberation in life this is why they search so much there are no gurus etc here just the brahma kumars and kumaris that's all there is no mahatma brackets great soul here this dada is just the same as you there is no difference there is no difference even in your costume etc this one sometimes take takes off his soul but according to the drama this is like the official dress you don't have to look at the dress your intellects go to say baba other people would look at the human body you forget your own bodies and also the body of this dada you have to become soul conscious you mustn't remember this one's body say baba is teaching us raj yoga through this one he alone is knowledgeful trikaldarshi at this time he sits here and tells us the secrets of the beginning the middle and the end this is very easy even for the old mothers in those schools old women wouldn't uh, wouldn't be able to understand anything this is easy for anyone the father simply says remember me just as when a person is dying he is given a mantra they say say rama rama or say this etc generally it is after going into the stage of retirement that, we, that people take a mantra from a guru however the father says the whole of the old world is now to be destroyed it is the stage of retirement for all old young and children no one else can say this people ask are you ready to bring about everyone's death yes everyone is to die some people ask baba how much longer will we have to stay here we ought to go back soon there is a lot of sorrow here that will also be said as you progress further baba says why do you ask that oh ho at this time you are personally in front of god later the degrees will be degraded you will go and become a deity child at this time this lab that provides coolness is good there in heaven it will be cool anyway but here even those who are hot are made cool and so that is good you shouldn't be in a hurry now at present we are the highest of all the whole praise is of this time the dilwala temple is a memorial of this time the father is the one who wins the hearts of the souls of the whole world the dilwala temple is for everyone souls call out through their bodies baba come come and make us new because we have become old both the souls and the bodies have become old souls see but without an intellect they are blind human beings cannot be called blind they do have eyes but their intellects are blind intellects that remember everything have completely forgotten to have remembrance so gopikas in different places call out the gopikas in bondes in small villages continue to call out the father explains children in the golden age there was the household ashram system it was pure now people cause so much distress in order to receive poison 
They don't understand that you are made wiseless here. They don't even know what you will become by being wiseless. Sanyasis too run away from their homes in order to become pure. However, they don't know that we will become pure and go to the pure world. They don't believe these things. At this time, there is so much sorrow that people feel it would be better to attain liberation or eternal liberation. The father has explained that according to the drama, no one can attain eternal liberation. You now know this. The father says, simply remember that your 84 births have now come to an end. Baba has now come to take you back. If you don't remember the father, there will be many storms. The conscience also says it is very difficult to remember Baba constantly. Although Baba says that you are karma yogis, it is seen that while performing actions, you forget to have remembrance. It takes time to reach such a stage. A lot of effort has to be made for that. At college, effort-making children have the hobby of studying day and night. They try to receive a scholarship from the government. They beat their heads a lot, brackets make a lot of effort for this. Then they become very happy. Here too the father says, study well and claim a scholarship. First of all, become seated on the hard throne. You should raise a head. You know that the father is now sitting personally in front of you. He sits in this chariot and says to you children directly, Child, child, the body of Brahma is fixed. The father says, I am speaking to souls. You used to call out, Baba, come. I have now come. You souls are incorporeal and I too am incorporeal. You have been remembering me on the path of devotion while adopting different names and forms in different places and time periods. I am now speaking to you personally face to face. You have the support of your bodies. I have to take this one on loan. The father says to the children, you now have to renounce your old costumes. The play is about to end. Now try to remember the father constantly. If you continue to remember other things, you will have to have punishment. As much as possible, remove your remembrance of others. When people go on a pilgrimage, that is all they remember while on, a, while on the pilgrimage. We are going to Srinath Dwari. Your pilgrimage is truly spiritual. Souls have yoga with the Supreme Soul and then they continue to come and go from here in order to perform actions for the livelihood of their bodies. No matter where you are, you should have remembrance. You know that God is not omnipresent. He is the Father and the inheritance is received from the Father. There is no meaning in saying that He is omnipresent. The Father has to give the inheritance. He has no desire to receive the inheritance. He desires to give the inheritance to you children. It is also in this father's heart that he has to give you the inheritance. There is the relationship of father and child. The children have to receive an inheritance and the father has to give it. So what would the father take from you? He has to give to you. The Lord is pleased with honest souls and so you should become very honest. All of you are children and you should therefore remember the father who gives the inheritance. We children don't stay in remembrance. You may perform actions for the livelihood of your bodies and then when you have time remember the father when your register of the pilgrimage of remembrance continues to become good, you will experience happiness. All the habits that human beings have continue to grow. It should remain in your intellects. That your 84 births have now come to an end. 
the play is now to end we are now going back to our home this is why the father says remember me man mana bhav is mentioned in the gita twice there are as many true things in it as a pinch of salt in a sack full of flour none of the pictures of other religion religions remain your picture your pictures remain there is an image of brahma in as made there are many types of brahmin they have been given many different names look how many languages there are you children know that there will just be the one language in your kingdom the language there is completely different there is no sanskrit etc daughters used to come and tell of the language that will be used there you children should now remain happy that you are establishing your kingdom then there will be your own language there the languages that exist here cannot exist there according to what is fixed in the drama you will build the same palaces that you did in the previous cycle here the british government built new delhi you know that you will not use the name delhi this old world is to be destroyed we want the newest world of all there palaces will be studded with diamonds and jewels those palaces don't exist now the intellect says we will build first class palaces there this world is very dirty you should talk among yourselves in this way respected sister respected brother we will now go to our home and then go and look after our kingdom we will wear such costumes in earlier days people used to wear real jewel real jewelry there must be so much jewelry in the temples to lakshmi and narayan what would the shiva temple be like they even make the shivlingam of diamonds these matters have to be understood the muslims truly came and looted the temple to our sib baba which was built at the beginning of the path of devotion you know that the temples to sib baba were built from the copper age onwards from being worthy of worship you became worshipers the somana temple was built first this knowledge is called somras brackets nectar the father th- through whom you become wealthy is the one who gives this knowledge you then build temples to the father with that wealth there will also be worshiping they build a temple in every home you know that when the path of devotion begins you will become worshipers and create idols etc you children know that you are now that you have now become lovers of god the beloved in order to claim the inheritance from him those people become lovers for wise here a soul is a lover of god the beloved you can see that all devotees remember that one the praise of that beloved is great he purifies the lovers that have become impure it is souls that become impure and souls that become pure acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bap dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children says namaste to the spiritual father essence for dharana number 1 in order to claim a scholarship study very well raised to be seated on a throne stay in remembrance while doing everything you are on a spiritual pilgrimage therefore remove the remembrance of everyone else from your intellect and constantly stay in remembrance of the father keep your register of remembrance good blessing may you be an embodiment of power and become worthy of worship by bidding farewell to all the vices 
and become a constant yogi and constantly pure all of you children receive two main blessings from the father may you be constantly yogi may you be pure those who experience these blessings in their lives constantly are not yogis for 2 to 4 hours but they are constant yogis they are not pure just sometimes but are constantly pure and have bid farewell to all the vices it wouldn't be that they sometimes become angry or have attachment any vice will not allow you to become an embodiment of remembrance only such yogis who are embodiments of power and those who remain constantly pure become worthy of worship slogan is stay constantly in front of the sun of knowledge and your shadow of fortune will always be with you slogan is stay constantly in front of the sun of knowledge and your shadow of fortune will always be with you Om Shanti